The 5 press setup method offers the quickest means to set up your Linksys Velop Mesh Wi-Fi system using the reset button. Please follow the steps on this video to learn how. Let's begin. Ensure that the status light on Linksys Velop Mesh Wi-Fi nodes is prepared for setup mode. The behavior of the light will vary according to the model. For Linksys WHW0 series routers, MR series routers, and MX series routers, the status light should be solid purple. For Linksys MX6200 series routers, or MBE7000 series routers, the status light should be solid blue. Please note that if the light is in any other color, you should perform a reset. Check out the description section of this video, where you'll discover a link that offers instructions on resetting your nodes correctly. For education purposes, a parent node is a router or node connected to your modem or modem router. Meanwhile, a child node is an additional Linksys Velop Intelligent Mesh node or router that you can add to extend your Wi-Fi network. First, gather all your equipment in the same room as the modem or internet source. Just take note that you can relocate your child nodes after the setup process is complete. Next, identify the Wi-Fi network you are currently utilizing. If you have a non-Wi-Fi modem and a separate Wi-Fi router, remove the existing Wi-Fi router. Just power cycle your modem and wait until your modem has rebooted before you go to the next step. You can also proceed to the next step if you either have a non-Wi-Fi modem or a Wi-Fi router and modem in one device. If you have more than one Linksys router slash node, choose one of them and then connect your modem or internet source to the internet port on the router and power it on. Wait until the LED power light to become solid or steady. Note that if you have a Linksys WHW0X series model, you can connect the modem into any of the two Ethernet ports. After setting up the router, the port that you used will become your dedicated Internet port. Power on all your child nodes and near the parent node, no more than 10 feet from the parent node or preferably in the same room as the parent node. Make sure that no other cables are connected to any of the ports on the child nodes during setup. Go to the parent node and find the reset button either at the bottom or at the back of the router. Now, press the reset button on the parent node 5 times within 5 seconds. The light on your parent node will start blinking. Once the light on the router becomes a solid white or a solid blue depending on the model, it means the router is now set up as the parent node and is connected to the internet. Following this, child nodes located near the parent node will now initiate their pairing process once the parent node displays a solid light. Wait for each child node's light to also become solid, mirroring the parent node, before continuing. This process may take several minutes. Once all your nodes have solid LEDs, your Wi-Fi network is ready to use. You can now relocate your child nodes to your preferred location. After you power them on, wait until the child nodes have a solid light. This indicates that the nodes have connected to the network and are ready to use. You can now connect your wireless devices to your default Wi-Fi network located at the bottom or back of your router. Additionally, we have provided a link in the description section of this video directing you to our knowledge base article on how to change the Wi-Fi settings of your router using the Linksys Cloud account. We encourage you to explore this resource for further information and assistance.